By definition, the variance of a random variable x is in the order of x squared because, well, that's how we defined it. Uh, that's precisely the variance of x equals expected value of x minus the mean squared. Okay, so it's in the order of x squared. Uh, you can think uh, this like, uh, uh, for instance, you have some data. Let's say this is uh, data on people. Let's say the collection of people in our classroom. Uh, and we have the data uh, of uh, heights. Okay, let's say in, in meters. Okay, one point something meters for every person. Uh, this distribution will be in the order of meters and its mean will be in the order of meters. And actually its mean absolute deviation is also going to be in the order of meters. But when you look at the variance, the variance is going to be in the order of meter square, okay? So we would like to have a measure in the same order as the data or the random variable itself to, to make a better sense of uh, the dis dis dispersion of the distribution. Therefore, we just take the square root of the variance to obtain such a measure, which we call the standard deviation, okay? And we usually denote it with a sigma, uh, with the subscript of the random variable name. And the standard deviation is defined as the square root of the variance. Now be careful, by definition, standard deviation is a positive quantity. It measures the, the distance well, it, not the distance directly, but it is a measure of, or it's an indicator of uh, the distance between the outcomes and the mean. So by definition, the variance, the standard deviation, and for that matter, the mean absolute deviation also, because it's defined in terms of an absolute value can never be negative. Okay. And let's uh, look at some examples next. We will start with a discrete distribution and then we will do a continuous one. Uh, here you see uh, the same example from before. If you remember, we, we computed the mean as 2.25 and mean absolute deviation is uh, 0.875. Now we will compute, compute the second moment and then the variance and the standard deviation for this distribution. If you just apply the definition, the second moment can be defined, can be, can be uh, computed by this sum, k squared, well, if, uh, the square of each possible outcome, weighted by the corresponding probability, okay? So one is a possible outcome, one squared, weighted by its probability, one over four. Two is an outcome, two squared, weighted by its probability, one half. Four is an outcome, four squared, weighted by its probability, one over four, so you get when you add them up, 6.25 as the second moment. Um, to compute the variance, again, we just apply the definition. Uh, the outcomes minus the mean, take the square and weight them by the, uh, the corresponding probability. So we know that the mean is here, 2.25, okay? So one is an outcome, one minus 2.25 squared, weighted by one over four, the probability. Two is an outcome, two minus 2.25 squared, uh, weighted by the probability one over two. And finally, we have four, four minus the mean squared and weighted by the probability one over four. You add them up, you get the variance as 1.171875, okay? But if you remember, we had uh, the variance also uh, related to the second moment and the mean. And if you remember, this was the relation, second moment minus square of the mean. So if you just plug in uh, 6.25 as the second moment and this 2.25 as the mean value, you get as expected the exact same value. And then you just take the square root of this and obtain the standard deviation. 